guys, welcome to another Best Airsoft video. I'm Nunj B02. And I'm Rory B05. And today we're going to do a review on the GBLS GDR15. So, as some of you may know, GBLS is a South Korean company that came onto the airsoft team about three years ago with the exciting promise of a new uh, AEG system combining the benefits of an electric powered gun with uh, some uh, innovative uh, stuff uh, like a recoil system, a really good recoil system. Uh, and uh, the benefits of a gas-powered uh, weapon system. Yeah. So they released a beta version about three years ago to some airsofters uh, for them to test it out and send their feedback. The gun had some issues, so it had problems with feeding, uh, inconsistency, some hop-up problems. Uh, so they heard all of that feedback and they released the version 1. Uh, the version 1, I think it had some issues, and then they released the version 2, which is the version that we have here on the table today. So it is every air, air software's wet dream to have uh, the best of both worlds, uh, to combine the, the reliability of an electric powered system with the benefits and features of a gas powered system uh, with added realism, uh, but uh, removing the problems that those systems usually have, like uh, leaky, mag leaky mag issues, like temperature issues um, in our country, people who use uh, gas systems usually have a lot of problems in winter because uh, in summer it's hot, but uh, the gas guns with uh, with cold weather don't work, or don't perform well. Um, and also consistency and precision problems that uh, gas guns usually have. So GVLS promised to do all that. Let's see if they succeeded. Yeah. So back in March, we went to IWA 2019 and we had the chance to see the GDR15 uh, first hand. We visit the GBLS UK booth, there was Jay, I remember Jay, he was there. Um, Hi and, Jay. Yeah, and some of the other GBLS stuff. And we had the chance to hold the gun, to uh, feel the recoil, um, see the different configurations that they had. Uh, they have a CQB and a carbine version. The they, trigger unit. Yeah, so very we saw the gearbox, the bolt carrier group, so it was really something that we, that we got excited and when we back when we went back to Portugal, me and B05 uh, went crazy and bought uh, the GDR15. Sure, this guy sold two systems, I sold yeah. some AGs. Yeah. <laughs> I sold my PTW, so I really went crazy just to buy. Um, I waited three months for one because they were just coming out. Yeah, yeah. So, so I bought the GDR15 and so did B05. So guys, let's see what you get uh, when you open the box. Uh, you get a red or orange uh, flash hider. This is more for US, US market, not uh, for us uh, Europeans. You get a hex key so that you can adjust your hop-up. Uh, we're going to show you how to do it. It's a little bit annoying. Uh, you get also a speed loader adapter for your magazine. And of course it comes with a 60 round capacity mag. The magazine is a standard R15 uh, mag. Uh, it has a nice finish to it. Uh, and the BB loader adapter goes like this and you just feed uh, the BBs. You also get a manual uh, showing you how to fix some issues, um, how to do some maintenance. So always take a look uh, at the manual when you get a new gun. And of course uh, you get the gun itself, but we are going to talk about that on the externals. So the price of the GR15 may be high, but it has a lot of value out of the box because of the PTS accessories that comes with. So they really did a nice job of tricking out the gun with uh, a lot of uh, parts that are significant value. Uh, it comes standard, not with this stock, this is a CDR. We both prefer the CDR because it's the more streamlined stock. But since it has a buffer spring and has absolutely no space to store a battery inside some, something like this, it comes standard with the PTS EPS stock. Uh, which has uh, compartments on both sides of the um, of the stock to put the the, the battery uh, sticks in. Uh, on this one, we solved the issue with uh, a little help from our friend Dips, who is well known in the Portuguese 3D scene. So he, he printed out um, a butt pad where we can lodge the the battery without having to have any issues with uh, with the uh, lack of space in the stock. Uh, the replica also comes standard with the PTS um, enhanced polymer grip. This one is very nice, very comfortable, and it's very solid. Yeah. So it comes also with their new rail, which is the GMR MG rail. Uh, it's very similar to the Mark 8 from Geisley, 
a bit similar. Uh, it's all M-Lock, it's made by GBLS, it has great quality. Uh, and on the front, it also comes with the PTS uh, Griffin Armaments Flash Hider that is compatible with their PTS uh, suppressors. But I went with the uh, SOCOM uh, RC2 Mini 556. Um, and the fire selector is also from PTS. I think it's the Battle Arms, Battle Arms Development Fire Selector, which is also a nice touch. And the whole gun has a nice uh, Cerakote finish on the whole body and it's very sturdy, very solid, it will not break uh, as, it, as is expected from a gun at this uh, price range. Okay. We've been using it for several months solid and it has little or no scratching uh, thanks to the Cerakote finish. So. Yeah. Okay guys, but don't despair, if you want to save some money, uh, this version, uh, as we said, costs in the neighborhood of 1,700 euros. But there's a slightly uh, cheaper version, uh, which is the skeleton version that comes without the stock and the rail. Yeah, you know? but a, bit, so, a bit more cheaper. Yeah, yeah. it's like uh, 200 euros less or 300 yeah, if euros you don't less, like, something like that. Yeah, if you don't like the rail or the stock, you can just buy the skeleton one and put whatever you want. So, yeah. yeah. So, in terms of controls, um, the charging handle, we forgot to mention, is a standard IR-15 charging handle. Um, and it's fully functional. As you can see here, the uh, bolt carrier group goes back when I pull on the charging handle. And since I have a uh, empty magazine, the charging, uh, the uh, bolt uh, stays to the back. So if I want to put a fresh mag, I just uh, take out this one, put the fresh one, and we, you have the pedal over here, the bolt release, and it goes forward. So really satisfying sounds, uh, it's very nice. We are going to show you some videos of, um, of us shooting the gun so that you can see. Okay, let's take a look at the internals in this thing. So we went ahead and disassembled it, but uh, firstly you have to disassemble it like a real AR-15. So you remove the front and back pins uh, to separate the lower and the upper uh, halves. So on the lower you can see the gearbox, okay, and the buffer spring here. Okay. Yeah. This is what helps the, uh, the bolt when it goes back, goes forward uh, when you do the trigger pull. And on the upper. You have the bolt carrier group, you can remove it, okay. So this is... yeah, it's very similar to a real IR-15 yeah. uh, bolt, bolt, so it's nice to have that extra realism. Uh, they released a new um, bolt carrier group, I think. Mm -hmm. it, Entirely made of steel, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it has more recoil, uh, it doesn't look as real, uh, as realistic. Uh, this one has more like IR-15 looks but the other bolt uh, also seems great because of that uh, added recoil, if you're into that. Yeah. It just came out around two weeks ago. Or yeah, something I think, like that. yeah. So, uh, we're gonna show you in a close-up, but uh, this is where the hop-up is. Uh, we're gonna show you also how to adjust it. Uh, the nice thing about the GDR15 is that it has a Western Arms hop-up, a fully CNC machined. Uh, and it accepts um, AEG buckings, so you can really uh, you can have some you have some space to do some upgrades, and it also accepts AEG barrels. So the stock barrel I think is 6.03, and it's a very high quality barrel. Uh, B05's gun is completely stock. I have a Prometheus red bucking, uh, which is one of their hardest. The GBLS recommends. That you have hard uh, buckings because of the action of the bolt carrier group, uh, so it doesn't tear. If you have the if you have the softer ones, it may tear with the use. Okay, uh, we did we did some videos that we're going to show you later yeah. of the shooting comparison that you can see the differences in performance. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that you know, uh, we recommend with the uh, stock gun you use 0.3 gram BBs. Yeah. I'm using BLS or yeah. Airsoft Surgeon. Yeah, try to use real high quality BBs uh, and stay and try not to use uh, BIOS. Um, yeah, because they will tend to shred and yeah. leave bits and pieces on the. 
I know that some guys are using vitals and they are doing fine, but GBLS does not recommend you to use them. So use a high quality VD. Uh, with me, with the Prometheus Red Bucking, I was using 0.32, uh, but I was using the hop up in the lowest setting. So I went ahead and used uh, 0.36 and I'm getting nice results. But we are going to show you on the videos. You're also going to do another uh, oh, yeah. adjustment on Yeah, we are going to show you also, I'm going to put an image on the video. Uh, the uh, GDR15 doesn't use AG nubs, uh, so the Western Arms, the Western Arms hop up has a arm that acts that acts as the nub. So if you want to use like a flat hop or something like that, uh, you really need to make a new hop up arm or modify the stock one. I want to show you the image uh, GBLS sent me that image because I asked them if it was possible to use an AG nub, so I'm going to show you. So I'm going to try to put the, try to test with the modified uh, flat top bucking, which is the black one, it's the hardest, with a Organ Magnus uh, flat top nub. So let's see how that works. Uh, but with the red Prometheus, I'm having nice results, but we are going to show that uh, on the video. Okay, one other thing that we'll show you on the video uh, is that uh, like uh, the bolt carrier on the real AR-15, this one needs to be looped, okay? And you use gun grease for it, and we show you how to apply it. Yeah, okay. They recommend you to use the AR Shell 22. It's the recommended grease, uh, but of course, maybe there's another type of grease that will also work, but the AR Shell is what GBLS uh, recommends you to use. And don't forget to keep everything looped um, because this will have, uh, this will always be moving. Yeah. Uh, parts are gonna uh, scrape in one another, so. So it will it will run smooth smoothly yeah. if you lube it up, uh, and it will have more uh, wear and tear. Wear and tear, yeah. I usually uh, in the end of each game when I arrive home, I just clean the old grease and put new one. Maybe that's too much, but just keep it safe because it is an expensive yeah. platform. Just you to know, a bolt carrier group costs around 400 euros. So, better be safe than sorry. Um, we talked about all of the nice features, uh, the realism of controls, uh, everything, but in the end, how does it shoot? That yeah. is really one of the... That is what you want to know when you pay 1,700 yeah. euros for a replica. So, uh, out of the box is a very nice gun. It will shoot better than most uh, AGs that you buy. Uh, don't forget that this is a very recent platform, it shoots great, uh, but there will certainly be better upgrades uh, in the future. Yeah. Uh, so let's just keep on uh, waiting. There are some guys that are trying different buckings, different barrels, uh, so let's see how it goes from there. Uh, but we have been using it for, 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 for a while, and in terms, one of the things that we noticed is the distance that it yeah. makes. Yeah. So it's making around like 50 meters yeah. we, we easily yeah we are we are going to show you on the video uh, but i think it will go up to 60 65 with a few internal modifications like carlos is doing yeah. in a vessel and we're going to have that as a comparison we're going to keep mine stock and do some upgrades on his and see the difference in performance yeah. over time and uh, i will eventually probably do the same yeah. upgrades as he's doing there isn't like a big difference but <clears throat> there is a little difference yeah, yeah. um so one of the things about this gun is the trigger. It is very, very heavy. If you are used to a gun or an airsoft gun uh, with a light trigger, like those ones where you blow into the trigger and they just shoot. Uh, for example, I was used to a PTW. You were used to I'm used scorpions. to a Scorpion Evo and uh, I have the special trigger on that one and you barely press it and it shoots. Yeah. With this one, it's uh, more like the real uh, AR-15, yeah. so it's completely different. It's a heavy trigger, you have to really pull it back, but the, the click it makes and the, yeah. the feeling it gives you combined with the recoil, the, the gun, uh, the recoil feeling the gun gives you yeah. when, uh, when you're shooting, it's awesome. It's a completely different experience on the field. So the trigger is really heavy, it has a wall, it has a reset, like, just like a real trigger. Um, when I lend uh, the gun to some friends for them to, to test it out, they start to press the trigger, but they yeah. say, "Oh, is it in safe?" No, I just say, "Pull, pull a little bit, a little bit harder." We always uh, have a laugh at that. Yeah, 
so and when you uh, use the gun you may think that it doesn't shoot well uh, because of the uh, recoil and the trigger you really need to get some training when you get this gun uh, because the trigger is heavy uh, it has a little bit of recoil it's a noticeable recoil you see the if you're using a red dot you will see the red dot moving so you really have to train a little bit. Uh, if you're just used to using a regular AG, yeah. you will find a big difference when you come onto this platform. And it really gives you consistency to train with it because you will see the results appear. But out of the box, when you pick it up and start com making comparisons without having trained with it firstly, you will notice that there are, there are some differences. We're going to show you uh, in a video uh, in a, a few seconds. Yeah, the recoil uh, and yeah. yeah, all of this, and also some uh, shooting tests that we did at 20 meters, 30, and, meters, yeah, 30 meters, and about 60 meters, 60, 60 yeah. something, 60, yeah. uh, with both uh, my my weapon and Carlos. Yeah. So, so so that you can see the differences and what they are capable of. Yeah, the groupings, etc. So another that nice thing about GBLS uh, is their customer support. Uh, it's a very nice customer support. They um, you can talk with them through Messenger. They usually answer, and we are in their Facebook group yeah. that we have, and they are also there. And guys discuss their issues, the problems that they have, and they usually uh, send parts uh, for free. So uh, for example, I know that a guy had some problems with uh, his hop up. GBLS sent them a new hop up. Yeah, yeah. send them a, a hop up. Some guys were getting problems with the bolts. They just send new bolts. So that's really uh, nice to have that kind of support for for the from the brand because it's an expensive. Product. And it also shows their investment on the brand. Yeah. They're they're starting out uh, versus other brands that are established in the market, and it shows that they trust their brand because they are willing to okay, let's help set this up properly and uh, get the brand out there and get the people uh, commenting and using the, the, the weapon system. So they're they're really uh, fine with it or they wouldn't be willing to send expensive parts in some cases to, to replace something that did not go. Like yeah. So another nice thing is that GBLS is always trying to innovate the platform. So they started with the IR-15, yeah. but they in 2020 are going to release an AK version. Mm -hmm. So that's and it looks really nice. Yeah, it looks nice and it's great to have a training weapon uh, away from the IR-15 platform. So I know that some guys like the AK and they are going to do it. Yeah. Uh, they, as we said, they uh, released a new bolt 
So it's nice to see that the brand is always trying to improve uh, themselves. They will, they'll, they will probably launch uh, a Lucky P yeah, Meg. Polymer, yeah. yeah, of course. Uh, so uh, it's great to see a brand that's always trying to do uh, things better. And we also see the, the, the industry out there adapting to this new platform because there are already some guys doing like, uh, you know, the little piece to, to fill the mags. They are doing adapters for the Odin system, the yeah. the, the quick uh, the quick uh, loader, loader uh, and and some other platforms out there yeah. for, for for loading for quick loading. So there's a lot you you will start to see appearing uh, to fill the needs of this uh, of this new weapon system. Yeah. So uh, this will be the future rep of airsoft certainly. Um, I don't know if other brands are going to try to mimic uh, the system, but this will be, uh, of course, the future of this sport, yeah, no I, doubt. I'm a big fan of Tokyo Marui and they, they have a recoil system, but compared to this one, I think this this really hits the mark where theirs falls a little short. Mm -hmm. um, I think like uh, B02 said, the future will be like this. So something that is more realistic and more close to the, to the real feeling of shooting an actual yeah, the, real steel yeah. weapon. The, the fun factor is way up there. Yeah. When I'm playing, uh, you really get the, that whole experience um, of the realistic controls. It, it's really great. And this, will, this, and this is probably the ultimate training weapon. Uh, I think they passed PTWs uh, in terms of the controls. I don't think it still performs better than a PTW. Uh, so PTWs have been around for very long time. time, there are a lot of aftermarket parts, so uh, it's near the performance, but it's not, still is not as good, um, but it's certainly going there. It's still starting, so... It's yeah. starting, and of course, it's right track. and it's a different system because it has recoil and it has that heavy trigger, so, uh, but it's, but for me, it's really the ultimate training weapon so far today. Yeah, you had two PTWs already, yeah. so yeah, yeah. The PTW was comparison. great, it's a great platform, but the experience with this is simply outstanding. Yeah, we absolutely recommend it. So, yeah. so we recommend you getting if you have the money. Uh, it's a bit on the pricey side, but yeah, you pay. So it's a PTW. Yeah, but you pay for the experience. So, guys, this was our review on the gun. Hope you enjoy it. Um, we hope we didn't make any mistake on, on the review. Uh, Jay will tell us. Jay you. Would, will tell us, of course. Um, so don't forget to check out our social media, our Instagram, uh, of course, see other videos from YouTube, Facebook. We also have a website if you want to have more insight on the team. Yeah. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, uh, Gators Eyewear. Yeah. Uh, they really make, nice glasses. Yeah, they make excellent eye pro. And hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time, guys. See you next time. Yeah, thank you.